What's good, people? It's your boy, Icarus Gray. And this is Gray Area Anime, the most wonderful podcast of your day. And we are back with another one. I said back with another one. Kirby says, It is dangerous to go alone. So I choose you guys to come with me on another amazing adventure of anime, gaming, and everything geekdom in between. And today, my friends, well, first of all, I'm back. I'm sorry for being gone for so long. I know I was gone for a very long time, but I've returned um, to sit on my podcasting throne with this here podcast. Uh, And today it was the June 21st uh, Nintendo Direct of 2023 and a lot of things came out. So I felt it was only right that I bring my Gote 3 brother in so we can discuss the direct, but again, I just mentioned he was the Gotei Three brother, so this sound is only right. <laughs> Gotta have a little Ichigo Bankai spread in because it's the Gotei Three, <laughs> and it is um uh I forgot what I called you. I think I called you like Z- Z- Zaraki Dev will <laughs> Dev- Ken- Zaraki- Kenpachi D something of that nature. <laughs> Uh, Something but, of that nature, but it's my guy Devin, or or like I said, a original member of the Gote Three, who What's I'm going, going to get uh, to be a uh, a regular on the podcast at some point. He is a um, most definitely a, a hardworking father uh, and Man. husband. So, sheesh, two kids got me running around, bro. <laughs> but we making it. Once he's walking now, so he's gonna be on his own. <laughs> let, him go. let him go man um so yeah guys so of course we are here to talk about the nintendo direct and all of the great things that came out of it uh yeah. i'm only going to talk about stuff that i'm actually interested in and i'm going to skip over the games that i didn't care for at all don't they ain't listen just dance ain't for me if it's for you this ain't the podcast for you what listen listen jade said Oh, I've got to play that. <laughs> now, yeah. in a family setting, it's the best thing in the world. We used to do that all the time. Because, you know, there the K's go. used to always get those. And so we would have on Christmas, like, <laughs> battles and stuff. I don't think you ever got to participate in one of those. I did not. And I'm not mad about it. Um, But, yeah, so I'm we used to go at it in that. But, anyway, so let's start with... What, uh, well, let me start with telling y'all where I've been. So, first and foremost, I was off working on music. I have now dropped the album. Gray Matter is yeah. now everywhere. You can actually yes. listen to music from me wherever you get your music YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, our heart, Pandora, Spotify, Amazon. Spotify. So, yeah, Apple man. Music, all the things. So, go and run those numbers up if you want some good, positive, hope filled music. Boy, uh, honeysuckle I, summer. A or just catch some vibes, you know. With Man, honeysuckle great. summer, can't complain. Uh, they say Boy. so. Whatever you feel like doing, that's where I've been. That's what I kind of been working on is trying to uh, finish some album stuff. I'm already back in the lab working on uh, some more new music. Um, okay. Shout out to my guy OGSB. Uh, the next thing that's coming out from me outside of Gray Matter will be my. I'm going to call it a mixtape series, even though it still is not a mixtape. But uh, mm-hmm. next coming for me, uh, what you guys will get is the Wax Poetic series. And it'll be number Wax Poetic uh, okay. number one. So, okay. Uh, and if you know anything about Waxing Poetic with Icarus Gray, that means I'm giving you bars on bars on bars. So, Boy, we can't wait. Uh, that is what where I've been. I apologize for the hiatus. I'm working on getting like a better schedule. Plus, I'm going to be moving and all this other stuff. But that won't affect you guys because I'm going to get back to doing this regularly and consistently. So, out of this Nintendo Direct, what are you uh, most excited about? And then I'll share what I'm most excited about. 
Man, okay. So, of course, they kicked it off with Pokemon. Of course. I'm always going to be excited about Pokemon. I mean, the only issue is how bad it looks. I can get over that for now. I don't think it's ever going to look better than what it is. It's Pokemon at the end of the day. I'm not expecting Zelda quality from Pokemon. I kind of am. Zelda quality? I could see a notch above what we got, but I I just don't think they have it in them to do all that. I I don't think they do. It's just like they're capable of it, but they have to stop, which it seems like they are. They're slowing down their game a year cycle i mean we don't have now yes. we do still have probably a pokemon direct coming later to talk more about those two and then i'll kind of see whether or not uh mm-hmm. they're listening um if there's not a brilliant this or that this year you know they yeah. will have sat with scarlet and violet for about a year year or so uh maybe a little bit longer yeah. um i'm fine with them yeah. letting it breathe for a second like we don't yeah. I don't even need a remake. I don't want to play Detective Pikachu. Nah, I'm good. Good on that. Good on that. That voice is now, what trash. I will take, what I will take would be another... Um, what was that fighting game they had? Uh, Pokin? Pokin Tournament. Listen, Ugh. I'll take another one of them with some more uh, Pokemon. That's probably not going to happen anytime soon, only I, because I of Tekken. Mm. Tech and eight is coming right. out, so the resources are probably right. being because I'm pretty sure yeah. that the reason it's called Pokin is because the Tekken creators Tekken made. Mm-hmm. If I'm not that mistaken, makes sense. Uh, that makes sense. But if they give it a little okay. bit more time, if they mm-hmm. give us a give us a break, um, then I think it'll be good. Uh, have I'm you? Speaking of just random aside, how many hours have you put into Tears of the Kingdom? Have you put any in a- yet? Absolutely zero. My Ari has been going to town on it. But what I have noticed from her, the way she played through Breath of the Wild mm-hmm. is nothing like how she's going through Tears of the Kingdom. She, I won't say she dislikes it. Mm-hmm. It's just definitely a completely different, different vibe, totally. She said it's leaning more towards like that... Um, Almost Minecrafty, you know, oh, Fortnite yeah, building on the, you know, and for me personally, that's not my bag. Mm-hmm. It's just not. I'm not that creative person like that. And you I don't mean, have to be. Like, and and that's what they say. And I'm, you I'm don't cool with that because I'm still willing to try. It. I'm definitely willing to try. It. But like I said, I still got to finish Breath of the Wild before I even tap into that. So I'm probably never going to play Breath of the Wild at this point. Uh <laughs> Just, <laughs> just because not do it. I've watched so much stuff on it and it was so intimidating and now the game mechanics will be so trash to me comparatively. Like the powers comparatively just are going to be a lot better in Tears of the Kingdom for me um, and a lot more intuitive because again, it's their second run at it. Uh, I've you, put... Can you hear me? Let's do your div. Uh, hold on one second. Let's see. I know we're still recording, so let's see what's going on with this here. <sighs> As we're coming back to it, guys, you see the technical difficulties that happen from time to time. So let's see what we can do to get my guy Dev. Back on the live. See. Can you hear me? I'm still here. Can you hear me? No. All right. I'm going to close it out real quick and then I'll bring you back in. All Hello. right, where we at? There, there we go. All right, we back. There we go. So, Tears of the Kingdom for me. Mm-hmm. I have put in 
uh, over 200 hours. It's like 220 hours. Dear um, goodness, man. So now, you're not playing nothing else. No, I literally just turn it on. Like I wake up sometimes and like end up turning it on. Like, and I got it the day the album dropped. So mm-hmm. it's been like over a month now that I've been yeah, playing this we, game. Jeez, and, and I, so is that much stuff to do or anything? Oh, bro, it's ridiculous. I have where I'm at now. I beat the game. Okay. Uh, but I'm going back through. I had I already like had lit up before I beat the game. I had lit mm-hmm. the entire depths up. I finished every shrine, all 152 okay. of them. Good guys. Uh, I have all of the armor. Every armor set there is. So, um, okay, is the post game, is it a post game or is it like the game ends, now you uh, got to restart? The post game is basically right before the final fight. And they'll give gotcha. you basically they'll give you Ganondorf's character card, basically mm-hmm. in terms of like his information, okay. uh, is what I've seen thus far. Outside of I'm pretty sure Gosh, there's gonna be dang. DLC at some point. You cut out again, Joe. Um, one second. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the audio. Let's see. If we can fix that. But anyway, guys, uh, as I'm working on uh, the audio and getting Devin um, together. Yeah, so I really enjoyed, as y'all can hear the rings and all this other stuff. I really okay. enjoyed um, just the game in general. Mm-hmm. And so, like I said, I did all the shrines. The depths is lit up. I got all the armor. Uh, the only thing I'm doing now, like I got all the the bargainer statue stuff. Um, I have a decent amount of Korok seeds. I don't know how many there are in this game. I'm not getting all of them. I, Too many, listen, bro. Too many. Um, I'm working through getting all of the side quests done. Mm-hmm. Uh, upgrading choice armor sets that I feel like upgrading. Um getting you better still do that through the fairies yeah you still do it through the fairies it's just okay the material requirements can be a bit tedious in terms of actually mm. getting them uh the building stuff you. like there's simple builds for everything you can either have fun with it or just make exactly what it is that you need to get wherever you need to get and i feel like i'm that lame person like you give me a path i'm gonna follow it there's no extra yeah, and it's it's fun though. So, yeah, over, all in all, I have enjoyed the game. I love where they set the story up. Um, mm-hmm. It makes me want another one. I know that they're not going to do that, right, um, right? But did they put a good yeah. button on it though at the end? Like, you good to go with what you got? Yes, it feels more like an open button though. To me, uh, if they wanted to come back, like if they, they wanted to come back, they have a a, a storyline that they can really work with. Uh, and I'm being vague because I don't know how many of you have played it, and I ain't trying to be the spoiler. Spoil guy. nobody. Fair enough. Because Fair it is enough. is a very good. The story is very good. Like everything is just better. They did the yeah. The memory system was trash to most people because it was so hard to figure out. Agree. Where I did say that the memories are easier. You need to take the pictures. Like it's all easy. Like literally everywhere you go, you're gonna be able to see where they are. And it's imperative that you go and do it. Uh I will also tell you, um you if you figure out a way to get the master sword before mm-hmm. getting the glyphs, which you can, I would recommend not doing it. If you're a story driven person. Because uh, otherwise, it'll it'll be ruined for you. So, with that out of the way, because I did want to give a little bit of shout out to Zelda, just because like bro, the game sold ten million thing. copies in three yeah. days. Yeah, it's doing its thing. Like it's going up. So I'm it, itching to get to it. I yeah. just uh, it's it's a lot going on in my Nintendo life right and now. And I'm telling you, once you it. start it, it, you it's just gonna. I'm telling you the the experience is not going to be what you think it is. It's not going to be that that difficult of a cliff. It's what I thought it was, and then it was just mm-hmm. like, oh no, everything boom, just boom. works. 
Fair but enough. yeah, so Fair enough. now we'll get to what you're actually here for, which is the direct. So what is the okay. game that you are most excited about with the direct? Oh, man, most excited about? Mm-hmm. I just don't know, honestly. Um, most excited about? Yeah. Aside from Pokemon? Mm-hmm. Um, is it Pokemon? You know, it's, I think it's always going to be Pokemon for me. Okay. And I can't even tell you why. It's not, I, you know, I, I get it. Tell you why. For me, it would be that if, like, the story was good and I felt satisfied by it. I need to mm-hmm. be more the post game Pokemon person, but I realize I'm not. Oh, I man. realize it's, that I am I like am. I am. I'll be on I'll be on Pokemon for days, bro. And I just get I off can't of even it. tell you why. I, I can't. Like I just can't do it. And if I can't do it. If I had been able to not update um Arceus. Mm-hmm. Or Arceus, which whichever the pronunciation however is, choose. however you choose, yeah. uh, then you know, just so I could still shiny hunt in the easy way that I loved, that was you know, amazing. That's what gets me every time. Like the fact that we got the back and forth compatibility on Pokemon Home, so yeah. now I can bring my Urshifu to freaking Pokemon Scarlet. You know what I mean? Yeah, I need to go ahead you and get those right transfers. There. Yeah, um, like so. Yeah, so if but it's Pokemon, that, I get it. Star Ocean. I haven't finished the first mm. one, but that second one looks freaking amazing, bro. Listen. So, yeah, let's start there. So, let's. Okay. So, that's kind of why I wanted to do this. So, for okay. a lot of people, the big sale is the remake of Super Mario RPG. And um, that does look good. Didn't realize that was even a thing. Oh, my God. Listen, not only is it a thing, it was the game. That Square Enix made before they uh, did uh, Final Fantasy VII. Oh, what? So How did I not know that? A lot of the mechanics and stuff that are in the game are what they ended up kind of taking over. And you can like clearly see it. No. Because I, I think they were Ari, like Squaresoft or whatever at the time. I told Ari, I said, if you can play that, because she was so hyped for it. I was like, if you can play that, you'll love Final Fantasy VII or almost... Any other like tactical oh, yeah, combat, turn base. So just get her on that, and then she'll she'll love the rest of it. Um, she won't do it, but she'll play Mario. And so for most of you, that was the excitement. For me, the mm-hmm. excitement was Star Ocean Second Story R. So I posted this on my Facebook, and I was telling the story time, and I wanted to kind of like elaborate on it. So okay. uh, there's Walmart on Bowman back home in Little Rock, Arkansas. And Bowman is a street. Uh, and I remember <laughs> going with my grandmother and like, this is like, this was on PlayStation 1. And it was $40 or $20 or something like that. I can't remember if it was 20 or 40 I feel like it was, it might have been 40 but I'm probably inflating a lot. So it was probably 20 I was about to say, I feel like PlayStation 1 games was $40, right? Yeah. Well, it might have been like 30 40 something like that. So oh, okay, that sounds right. Um, so I go and I get this game. She uh, l- uh let me have the money to go get it, mm-hmm. and like, bro, like when I say enamored with this game, I played that game as much as I possibly could. Uh, yeah. like because it was you know unheard of at that time. I um, right, right. I had so many hours into it, and it was a two disc game. And like I told them, I, I said, the multiple disc. at the time, two disc games meant, oh, I'm going to be playing this for a while. For a hot minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, yeah. you know, like them hundred hour JRPG games back in the day meant something because that oh, you gosh. wasn't able to just dig in the games the way you kind of are now. Mm-hmm. And so I got it. I'm playing and I'm playing and I'm playing and like I'm leveling up. I'm going on a uh, game FAQ. Reading the game facts, baby. Game facts. Mm-hmm. I'm reading the uh, I'm reading the walkthrough, trying to figure mm-hmm. out which character can I get. There's like cooking mechanics and all this other stuff. It is real time strategy uh, in terms of attacks and everything, and it's like a whole situation where it is just incredibly. Um, 
amazing in that way of like it's just an amazing game right and so i was on the first disc okay and i didn't know i was getting close to the end of the the first disc or whatever but i get to the end of the first disc and i'm ready to put the second disc in Uh i go to open my case and the second disc was broke how long had it been broke? No <laughs> clue. No clue. Gosh. I had no idea. It was like broke like right down the middle, bro. Oh. And so, and this is like before GameStop. Like GameStop ain't a thing. Right, right. So it's just that's I don't it. ain't no insurance policies on these games and stuff back then where you can come in and give it back to them and they'll give you a new one or whatever. None of that. Mm-hmm. So, um, Fast forward to now when I saw that, like, so I, I get up here uh, to Tacoma. I've, I've since moved from my uh, old town home in Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, mm-hmm. We move out to Tacoma. I go to this retro game store. I see Star Ocean Second Story, and I'm like, yo, I don't know if this is fade or whatever, but, like, I really need <laughs> I this game. I have it. Yeah. And I don't get it because I'm like, I know that would mean I got to commit to, like, getting a PlayStation and, that's, like, that's adapters and all this other stuff for the TV. And I was like, you know, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it at some point in time. I ain't really got I ain't really got to uh, I ain't really gotta, uh to, to rush on it or whatever. And so, you know, like, with that, I, like, was kind of like uh, just trying to uh, figure out the constructs of like how I wanted to um, move forward with um, the uh, just the overall feelings of it and everything, right? So. Uh, Deb, you there? Oh, Deb. Hello. Ah, this computer of mine. Um, good. We good? Okay. Uh, so I just this game, bro. Like it's real time strategy. Like you attack. Um, immediately. So that was something like because I was not good at turn based games outside of Pokemon at that time. Like, even with um, what is the game? Even with Super Mario RPG, like I didn't know what that game was gonna be like. I, I can imagine back because that was what on um, Super Nintendo. Yeah. I was yeah, on Super Nintendo, imagine. and like I remember getting it, expecting like Mario, and like I played it, and I really am excited for it because again, Square Enix is the king for me in terms yeah, of JRPGs. Um, next to maybe Atlas in terms of like, because I love Persona Five. Y'all know how I feel about Persona Five. Uh, <sighs> another game yeah, that I definitely we'll have to talk about. That I can't wait to. Oh, for sure. I, I got feelings. I got feelings, man. Man, like it it was one of them ones for me. But I understand that. Star Ocean was one of the games where it's like you had the option of like different characters and different story beats and, and things of that nature. And even like I didn't know, you know, that getting the characters that I ran into that it keeps you from getting other characters. And therefore you have to like do <sighs> You know, a second like playthrough, playthrough to to kind of you could have got yeah, Uh, just because I think there's like eight characters that you can have in total, and there's like all of these quality of life things they're adding like um, when you're attacking like you there's combo things, so it's gonna be like an amazing game, and I feel like they got to be playing something big with Square Enix because bro, Square Enix been just dropping. Hit after because, hit after hit after listen, hit. Because we're not even gonna get on what is it, Final Fantasy sixteen? Oh we're yeah, not even yeah. Gonna get on that. I ain't even gonna talk about it because I ain't got the system yet, so I gotta wait on that. Oh, listen, let's not even discuss it then, because that right there, so that would take all of the time I don't have. 
So, but I just mean in terms of their Nintendo relationship, because in their yeah, Nintendo yeah. relationship, you got uh, Bravely Default 2, you got Octopath yeah. Traveler 2, Octopath Traveler, yes. Triangle Strategy, uh, I think Triangle Strategy 2, or there's another, I'm pretty I, sure they I have get the two. name of it. Pretty sure they have a 2. Um, you got, you know, now Super Mario RPG, um, I think they did Harvestella. It's another game that we got. Um, If I'm not mistaken, they did that too. Um, Mm. But they just are on a tear, bro. And so this game, having this Star Ocean, bro, is like the world for me. I tried to pre-order it today too, man. Like, And it's not even ready for pre-order. So it might be a digital only thing, which is going to suck for me. Uh, Cause I'm a cartoon. Uh, you don't, kid. you don't, you don't rock with the digitals. You prefer to. Uh, I'm always gonna copy? prefer to have it in my hand, man. And the nostalgia of like popping it out I the plastic. It. Um, yeah, yeah, I feel that. No one is mine. That when they started, when they stopped giving me um, instruction books, oh, I, yeah, it, yeah. they lost me. They lost me all the way. I can't even lie to you, Joe. It's something about just having it, though, man. Because like. If, get that. I, do I get feel that, like though. if you lose your Nintendo Online or whatever membership, I don't know how you get access to the games you already no. bought. So, speaking on that, I didn't realize that any Pokemon game you save, it doesn't go to the cloud. It's all backed up on the system. Mm-hmm. I've recently traded my system in and lost all progress. Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Let's Go, Brilliant, Shining Diamond Pearl, Arceus, gone. All shinies, gone. Oh, the heartache. Can I tell you, a knife to the chest. A knife to the Uh, chest. And this was all before they added uh, compatibility with Pokemon Home. uh, Tore me two pieces. I was gonna say I, th- I don't know if there's a recovery thing. I don't I don't like think I feel so. like I watched him erase all the stuff. Yeah. While I turned it in. It's okay. I'm just going back and playing it all and I'm not gonna cry about it anymore. Oof. I spent a whole twenty four hours mourning. Oh yeah that <laughs> hurt about Pokemon bro. That it hurts. destroyed me. It destroyed me. Oh that but, hurts me. But listen, on to happier things. Yeah, on to happier yeah. things. Uh, I did get the Star Ocean remake on my Switch. I just have not played it. Uh, I figure which one that is, because that's another of the games. Is I it feel completely like it's different? The, uh, from what I'm talking about, probably. I don't remember. It's an R one, because it's got mm-hmm. R at the end, I think, yes, for remake. But I forget. Star Ocean R something. Uh, but I forget which one it is. I think it's like the first or the third game or something. The remake, like they recently oh. did it, like about last year. Like Star Ocean's second story is the second game in that uh, line in of the games. main series. Um, but I was just okay. uber excited about this, man. Like I know that I have to have Super Mario RPG and Star Ocean, and it's gonna be hard to figure out whether or not, like. I really want to do some content on Star Ocean because of how much that game meant for me. Um, Because yeah. it was just dope. Like, you know, Shoot. it just do felt cool. Do a playthrough, man. Do a playthrough. Um, so I might do that for y'all. I might do a playthrough as we get closer yes. to it just to kind of share that I'll with y'all um, and, and get that out there to y'all. I'm also coming back with more YouTube content. Please forgive me for the the lack of they're all like once the album dropped man i just relaxed I like i was say, like bro, i'm you've done been, you've you know been working hard man we we respect it get your rest do what you gotta do so you can make what you need to make man. um but we gotta get that 141 subscribers we gotta get it up we gotta hit that 500 mark um and and get our watch time up you know what i'm saying uh, go. I got a lot of anime that I'm going to be watching for y'all. Just before, to, uh, to take a quick aside from the games, uh, mm. we are going to be going back to. I got a. I'm going to watch all the way through Demon Slayer now that it's finished, uh, so mm-hmm. I can do a, give a full thought on it. Uh, Ranking of King season two is another one that I got to give for y'all. Ooh, yeah. Um, what is the name of the one that I'm watching? Let me look on my high dive real quick. Have you checked out Marshall? 
Uh, yeah, I only like I said, I only watched like the first episode. I'd rather read with that. I don't know what it is. Really? I just rather read. <laughs> I understand that. That's how I feel about Black Clover. Um, same. Uh, the dangers of my heart is one that is on high dive. It is one of those cutesy like relationship things that I just I'm addicted to it. Uh, I finally watched yeah. through Hell's Paradise. That's another wow. one that is like wow. Goodness gracious! What Absolutely. is going on? I started on here? reading that one. Absolutely amazing. It is. It is just. Really good, and I, I kind of want to like tackle it from a couple of different ways. And, and when I when I do that uh, next episode, I want to tackle it from the aspect of how anime handles spiritual stuff, um, mm. and I want to tackle it from you know just the empathetic uh, level of these different characters in terms of the criminalization of them and, and everything else, and how you end up tying yourself to these characters. But that is okay. for another podcast. Back to this direct. Uh, Another thing that I'm super, or I'm not going to say super excited about, but that I'm, you know, a a little bit happy and joyous about. Okay. Is the Mario Kart 8 courses, is that we're getting more courses. Okay. I think there's only one more wave after this. Um, Listen, man. You know, I have the game. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've purchased any extra courses. And I I think what I'm learning is mm-hmm. I was more of a Sonic kid growing up <laughs> over Mario. I played Mario Kart. You know oh, what I so mean? Did, were you excited for Sonic Superstars? I can't lie. I very much am. Okay. I very much am. I was like, isn't this just a remake? I said, listen. No, 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 no. It's a whole new thing. It's, it's 12 new zones. I was trying to tell her, but she, she won't listen to that. It's a whole new thing. And and my thing is, Mario comes out with remakes twenty four seven, and people love them. I love them. I'm one of them. Oh yeah, but well, Mario's you know a remake. What I'm so if Sonic decided to, that's okay too. But yeah. that's not what this is, and it looks great. Oh, it, it looks, looks amazing, fantastic. I, I like the way it looks. I'm not interested because I've been off of Sonic since Sonic Adventure two. Ah, uh, with the Chows. Yeah, I loved all that. Like that's, oh, but at, and then the after world. that, now I did get Sonic Unleashed. So Sonic Unleashed, which one is that? Uh, where he turns into the wolf. So I remember working at Toys R Us when that one came <laughs> out. So much promotion behind that. Uh, I did have that one. So like, I want Sonic to be good, but I just don't think they have the story in them anymore. I don't think you know, they have it. He's 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 like the upgraded version of a Crash Bandicoot almost. He's a notch above Spyro in them for me. is a predate to yeah. both of them. Yeah. Like, and he has such character depth and like world building stuff that they did and, and were trying to do and then they just kind of threw it all in the trash. Right. Um, with a lot of like weird games with bad stories, bad mechanics. Yeah. If um, they had waited yeah. until they came out with the movie, they would have been golden because that's the reason we're seeing a resurgence. The movies have done like that second Sonic movie. Oh, yeah. It's really good. You like, know what you I mean? Know, preview in the third. Third is going to be probably really good as well. I think so. so. I think so. We shall see kind of like what goes on with that but that's one that i'm kind of anticipating but i ain't really gotta like have um that's fair because for me it was literally just the fact that super mario rpg um and uh star ocean second story as well as super mario bros wonder does look like it could be my my 2d mario that i like get because i don't Mm. have a mario game Outside of, I don't think I do either. Uh, well, I, I have All Stars. I do have 3D I like All Stars. Mario Tennis. Ooh, I should have got that. I thought about it. Listen, Mario Tennis is. I've been playing Mario Tennis since Game Boy Advance days. Now, but that's when I really loved it because back yeah. when it was an RPG, and you got to like pick out your stats yeah. and you were facing all the people at the school and then you finish mm-hmm. the people at the school and get invited to yes. the cup the Listen. the big the or the open with all of the different characters yes, and stuff bro, like bro. 
and you get to too hype back then. Too hype back then, man. I never like owned it. Me, me either. I played it on (laughs) emulation. Okay, okay. I was waiting for you to say it because I did. And uh, and I have it on DS. I do have it. I purchased it on my DS, so I do have it like on my DS. Until um, Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and so, you know, I was really, really happy about that. I mean, they right. they didn't do what I want them to do. Like, I think the closest that they've gotten is like Golf Story. Um, and I haven't played that one. It does look dope. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, if you're looking for that feel again, play Golf Story. That's it. That's okay. it. Uh, okay. And it's always, they always run sp- uh, uh, deals and stuff on it. But mm-hmm. overall, with that Pikmin 4, I mean, I can I can play it. It don't really matter to me whether I've never or not been I a Pikmin do. fan. I never got on that train. I and wanted I to it. initially because the graphics, when you first like saw that game, like GameCube days, it right, was like, right. oh, this is crazy. Up, right? Yeah. GameCube? Okay. GameCube, yeah. Because um, then Pikmin 3 and I think Pikmin 2, Pikmin 2 may have been Wii. And then Pikmin mm, 3 was definitely right. Wii U. Um, so there were things about it that I think were cool, but like when I realized it wasn't just, you know, me going around plucking these things and like fighting people, mm-hmm. like there was a whole time element and how many days, you know, running out of food and all this other stuff. I was like, Oh no, 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 no. This is stressful. Right. Uh, so I do love the lore of the game, but overall okay. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, and then it was a whole bunch of just for what? Um, no, listen. Oh, or the what's the silent storm? Yes, that did look seven, good. The seven uh, heroes or whatever. Yeah, that, that can't they can't talk. I, I I'm not I'm gonna hold it. y'all. I'm I did that like one. that. Uh, I'm here for that one. That and one I, I, Dragon Quest Monsters. Anytime you give me, <laughs> um, you give me uh, Pokemon based games. Man, I'm like, I'm this, try it out. <laughs> but this is the thing. This I have been burned. Silent Hope. That's the name. Of it. Silent so, Hope. Silent Hope. I'm I'm rocking with it. I have been burned by so many Dragon Quest games. I refuse to go back. And I've always what? paid. Did you not like Dragon 45. Quest Eleven? I'm not even sure if I, I can't remember what the last one I played was. Oh yeah, I would try it out. The, whichever one I played, there was too much running in between to mm-hmm. get to wherever I was going. It just wasn't enough for me. Okay. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And but they it, the the whole aesthetic of it is beautiful. I love the way Dragon Quest looks. It's I, just, I can't. So I know. So and that's why you gotta I want love support it. so bad. That's why I've given him forty five dollars every other other year. <laughs> but I never finish a game ever. Never once have I finished a Dragon Quest game. But this is the Persona, year of me finishing the, game. The, the tactics Persona. Okay. Game? I'm into, not going to lie, that was another one that I'm like, you know, I'm take my that. money. Now, but listen, I tried to play when they when they had the deal on Persona 3 and 4 for the Switch, right? Mm-hmm. I got Persona 3, mm-hmm. and it messed me up when they were shooting themselves in the head. Joe, yeah, that's, I, that's played, I played probably for like a week. Uh-huh. And then Ari was looking at him, and she was like, did he just shoot himself in the head? I said, I know. It don't sit right with you, right? No. So I, I couldn't play it. Do they do that in all of them? <sighs> they do something similar. Like, so Persona okay. 5's thing was, you know, ripping the face off. I'm fine with that. Um, I forget That's what fine. Persona 4's was, but it's they're all dealing with that, like, teeny, teenage okay. angst kind of thing. That's why... You know, with the fusing of personas, they have the guillotine and stuff in right, Persona right, Five. Right. So there's a lot of that because a lot of what they always are dealing with is kids versus really bad adults. Uh, right. You know, not good adults, which is why I like these little spinoffs because they're not as uh, hard to digest. Um, right, right, right. And God, I love my time. Like I might end up doing it. Like I almost. A hundred percent, which I think that's the only thing I don't like about Switch is there's not as much fanfare for doing stuff like, yeah, like badges and you know all just, the trophy systems, all of that. Yeah, like I need yeah. to know how far I am. That like I was so close yeah. to platinuming uh, Persona Five on PlayStation Four, 
mm-hmm. because the only thing I was missing uh, was getting maxed bonds with everybody, which basically mm-hmm. requires you to like be really on top of, okay, at what part of the story do I need to be talking to this person? Do I need to be spending time with this person? So I can make so. Out. Do you ha- do you personally have to use walkthroughs for those things, or do you just that's you play the game and uh, you know what you're doing? With? I would use walkthroughs for the conversations, right? Especially once I knew that, like, there was once I figured out the scale system after like mm-hmm. my second or third, because I ran through that game on PlayStation Four like four or five times. Like, yeah. so they, if they, not they, more, replay value is really there. Oh, for sure. Because once you finish playing through, like, you get to go back through with your levels. You get to go back oh. through with all the persona you've unlocked. So, okay. like, okay. you can you zoom through the game by that part. Um, right, right. I think you can increase the difficulty if you want to, but majority of the time, like, I was like, I'm good. For what? Yeah. I just be skipping story beats or picking like who I wanted to to romance this run through or anything right, like right. that. Um, you can focus on different people every playthrough, basically. So I'm really excited about the tactic uh, game, yeah, but I'm a tactics dude. You know Me what I'm saying? Too. Hands down. Uh, yes. Eventually, I'll go back to Fire Emblem Engage, which I have enjoyed <laughs> thus far. I um, love Fire Emblem games. I just suck at them. I'm so oh, bad at man. Fire Emblem games. <laughs> it I like so it takes bad. A bit. It takes a bit, like, man. When I tell you I replayed whichever one, or the first one that came out on the Game Boy Advance, I replayed the first level at least seven times, and I still haven't made it past the first level. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, it takes you kind of understanding, like once you understand their system, like I be like I was explaining um, the Hyrule Warrior or the Dynasty Warrior version of it, which I think is, uh, it's not three uh, three houses, three right? houses, right? Mm-hmm. I think right. It's, no, 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 no. Three houses is the first know. one, but it's three something. Okay. Okay. And so, like about. that one, I was trying to explain uh, to Prima Diva, aka the wife Kane, and mm-hmm. like how my brain works is I see the field immediately, and I'm like, okay, I need to send this person this way. I got to go this way. I need to go, like I wish, bro. I and, wish. and it's just how I work. It's like I literally <sighs> am seeing the field from like a tactician's point of view, and it's like. Especially in engage, like I'll rewind something real quick and start it over to like figure out, okay, I need these type of people. These are the people that I want to level up. I need to upgrade their this, change that's, their status, all kinds of stuff. That's always my issue. I I see the field. Mm. I don't I don't know I don't know my characters well enough and I'm all about equality, so everybody gotta be a level twenty at the same time. Nah, where I got, I need one character to do what they if if all the characters are doing what they need to do, you'll be fine. Um, you just have to kind of think about like, okay, who's my weakest character? I'm gonna send my healer with them. Like, do I have this on on me or whatever the case may be? But uh, another uh, game that got previewed, okay. which I'm starting to feel like. As much as we keep talking about a Switch 2 and all these other things, like there are so certain reveals out. of games that like make me think we're we're real close. Really? And I feel like the Peach game seems like uh Peach game. that's gonna I be a thing. That one. Well they previewed it right after Super Mario RPG. So oh, okay, there's gonna okay. be a brand new Peach game. It doesn't have a name or anything like that. They just did like a quick little uh, uh, thing with her, okay. and then they're bringing uh, Luigi's Mansion Two. I've seen that over as well, as well so as like is, Metal Gear Solid and stuff like that. Right. So this is my thing with them doing all of that, and talks of a Nintendo Switch Two coming out. I just don't. So are we just carrying over everything that you're putting on the Switch at this point? Because oh, they have to. They almost, they don't have a choice. Yeah, they don't have a choice. It would make no sense to put. Like I saw the Batman trilogy coming to the Switch, I was like, "Yeah, okay, so we must be rocking with the Switch for a hot minute, unless all of this is just going to be compatible with." Has to the be. They have no other choice. There's no point in like killing the DS, doing all these things we have with the internet right. uh, connectivity for the Switch, giving us access, bringing Super Mario RPG as well as like the Pik- Pikmin One and Two 
and other mm-hmm. games over. I think they're trying to figure out what their strategy is going to be. I mean, the Switch is probably, I feel like maybe another year. I don't see them pushing it that far outside of that without like somehow increasing the software. Um, right, not right. It don't even have to be PS5 or Xbox Series X levels of anything. Right. It just has to be able to process the games that they got coming on better. I feel that. So with that being said, right, mm-hmm. and I brought this up to Ari because it's something I just never thought about. Mm-hmm. I'm sure somebody's asked the question. How would you feel if they ever made a Pokemon for a Switch system that's not mobile? Or not a Switch, but a Nintendo Switch system that's not mobile. Uh, can't but do it. But it's a main it's a main series Pokemon game. You know what I'm saying? You just can't do it. I don't think it's possible either. It's not possible. Like you can't put the genie back in the bottle of your genius. Like the right. genius, like you didn't even just play po- like it would have to be something like Pokemon Stadium, which where, you don't mm, really need anymore. <laughs> because the, right. the thing about Pokemon Stadium was you just playing. Connect- I'm playing mm-hmm. on the TV. So, exactly. right. you know, and I can bring my Pokemon over, not all of them, which was a whole another weird aspect about that. But I can bring right. what I can bring over um, to this game. But now we have the full 3D models and everything that we like we were expecting from uh Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Snap. Um mm-hmm. you know it would have to be the most impressive Pokemon oh, yeah. game ever for me to be like, okay, cool. Yeah, this ain't this ain't gotta be mobile. Mm-hmm. But you would yeah. still have because they don't even that's never how Game Freak has marketed Anything. Any poke agree. The first one had a link cable that came out with it. Very first Pokemon. Hey, did that Pokemon game ever come out where you were like uh the game free game that they were like promoting where you're like in some town or something like that? I think it was like called Town or Town Hero or something like that. I don't think that game ever came out. Ooh. You you knocking some cobwebs loose on that one. Like I, I just started thinking about that. Like that's something that matter of fact. I'm gonna have to go look that up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. That sounds really familiar. Um okay. but overall, yeah. I give the direct seven out of ten. You know, with everything they gave me, I give it a <laughs> seven seven out of ten is actually pretty good. I don't think I, I almost wanna give it a eight, but it, for me personally, it just wasn't that much stuff in there. For yeah, me. and that's why I'm saying I'm giving it a seven out of ten. I feel like it would be a, a nine out of ten or eight out of ten for people who love Mario. Like oh, yeah, you getting a new suit, you Mario getting centric. a remake Mario game. They're giving Mario the Zelda treatment, kind of, mm-hmm. because initially mm-hmm. it would have you know linked to the past or Link's Awakening remake, and then I think it would have went into Breath of the Wild. I think. You know, everything had been like on time in terms of the way that they wanted it to progress. Right. Um, right. So having the Super Mario um, RPG remake and then the new game and wonder, um, we got a lot of stuff coming. So that's why I gave oh, it a seven because I'm not like the hugest Mario dude. Agreed. Like, and it's right. mostly because right. I just missed that time. Like, yeah, I had a Game Boy, right. I had a Super NES, everything else. But like when I got my Game Boy, bro. It was Kirby, which y'all know. Hi. Y'all know how I feel about Kirby. Uh, so it was that. It was Tetris. Um, mm-hmm. We had like uh, Super Mario mm-hmm. Land Two, the one that's like mm-hmm. kind of like where he where he faced Wario for the first time. Um, but other you than that, I mean. man, like Red and Blue came out, and the rest was history for me. In terms exactly. of like yeah. what I was going to Game Boy for specifically, like that is where my love for RPGs grew, and mm-hmm. I can't do nothing with that because as soon as I got PlayStation, it was either sports games or RPGs or solo exactly. or solo player games that I could like me myself and I. Fair enough. And see, my experience was somewhat similar because, like you said, when Red and Blue came out. The rest was history. Now, 
what was it? Uh, Dragon Ball Z Legendary Super Warriors on the Game Boy Color. I, I flop in and out between them two. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then is that the one? Was that the one on the Game Boy Advance where you could like? No, no, no. Legendary Super, Super Warriors like? was the. Uh, you could. Uh, so it was like a car base, car car based turn based game. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm, because they had inputs B down A or whatever, almost like he was putting in cheat codes. I almost forgot. So this wasn't on the direct, but just since we're talking about the nostalgia tip about mm-hmm. these characters and stuff, and you just rattled this out of my brain, like you said, knocked the cobwebs off. Yeah, yeah. The fact that I don't have the Mega Man Battle Network collection yet is killing me. What is wrong with you? I got that. Man, listen, I've only played through some of it because of what happened with Pokemon but oh yeah I got that probably within the week bro bro within I gotta get week, back on man. man I gotta get back oh, on but God. that's gonna be another one but I know that that's gonna be a time consuming thing for me oh listen I, because this is the thing I didn't hop on that train until they were on the third or fourth one mm-hmm. by the time they started splitting them was when I got on it. Uh, so that was on another like one of my emulations like when I played it but that was also yep. So when I was running, uh, well, not running, but I was on this anime website that is no longer around called Otaku Center. And mm-hmm. on there, I was the moderator for Mega Man NT. Okay. So that meant I had to go and, like, see if there was, like, a broken link. I had to go and, you know, find oh, wherever I could to it. find a new, you know, yeah. connection. And I wasn't that good at, like, coding, so I wasn't, like, the best at it. But right. for me, good enough. Battle Network is... That uh, sub genre or side piece or whatever you want to call it, the Mega Man is my absolute favorite. Especially you, after I learned the whole story. I think that would in in my memory, that's the that's my Mega Man. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, like, it's either I that or Mega, or Mega Man Legends for me. And see, that I missed that by like one inch. I probably played two seconds of it because my brother had it. Bro, I think you know I, I, mean? I know I think I almost beat that, but I was renting that from Blockbuster at the time, so I'm only Girl, getting it like three days at a time. And like I got to where I found his helmet, mm-hmm. and so I was getting pretty deep in the game. Like, bro, that was one of them games. Like, I, I be thinking now, like a lot of stuff that used to scare me, like pop oh, out on me God. and stuff. Like, couldn't play it. I couldn't play a Tomb Raider game to save my life, bro. Bro, <laughs> like I want—I promise you—I put Tomb Raider two and three on my Christmas list every year. My mama just ignored it. I but, only played demos and never, never made it out the demo, man. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, I just wanted to give y'all a quick little update about the the direct in that regard. Just talk about it, kind of break some of these things down. Uh, like yeah. I said, there were other games in there that I just was not impressed with. I care nothing about Fay Farm, like, bro. It, yeah, at the end of the day, I tried to put Jade on it. When my nine year old said no, I was like, ah, okay, cool. I'm yeah. not out of touch then. <laughs> like, you know, like, I mean, I'll, I'll just play Stardew Valley or, you know, right. they just released on the Super Nintendo Harvest Moon, and that's, you know, what got me in all of that anyway. I was playing um, Room Factory 3, 3, 2. I think it's 3. Because I feel sure like they own 6 or 5 not- or something. I was about to say, I'm not playing the most recent one. I'm playing yeah. like two away from it. Mm-hmm. But that's a time, that's a time sucker too, man. I it couldn't is even. Good. So, I, I mean, it's not that I don't think it's a, that I think that it's a bad game. I didn't care nothing about the Myth Force or whatever the game was. It just looked Myth dumb. Myth Force. Um, uh, is that the, that's the roguelike one? I think so, but it's like the one where it's like first person, but you like play as a warrior. It looks like old Saturday morning I kinda, cartoons. I kind of um, like good. it, Joe. I kind of like yeah, it, man. Good. I'd rather it be like if it was actually He Man or something. Like I'd no, be in there. Man, I think this is perfect. I want to taste this so, one just because I'm gonna play this one. I'm gonna try and get Ario to it. Be like, you know, get a couple people. Because listen, this is completely aside from everything else. Mm-hmm. Pokemon Unite. We got to get the team together and we oh, yeah. got to run them. I mean, I mean, we can do okay. it. We can do it but anytime. We can, we can, we'll start streaming it. Matter of fact, I, I, start, I, get, this, I get it set up and we'll start streaming. Um, so overall, like you said, both give it a seven out of 10. Uh, yeah, I am looking forward to what 
uh, Pokemon Company is going to do later on this year. Uh, Excited. You might be the only person that can probably get me back into actually even playing. Uh, and get the DLC and it's stuff. I just, man, like once I beat it and the story was just so good, it was the first time that I've ever been like this in a long really time good. where I'm like, oh, this is cool. I like yeah, what you did here. I like how you uh, worked this out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff that I, you know I still got to update y'all with. Uh, I got to go see Spider Man. I know you saw it Sunday, so I uh, won't even. I still got to go it. see it. I know do, that man. it is. I know pretty much how that it is like one for one following a lot of the ultimate Miles Morales story, which is why it's so great because Brian Michael Bendis is a genius in that regard. Yeah. Um. And so I, I know that that's going to be something that's, that's really, really uh, exciting and dope. But anyway, I, that, that's a whole other conversation. you about that, that, holla at your boy. All right. Because, man, listen. We, we, we hopefully can get the whole Gote 3 Please, uh, together. I hit Patrick up and he, I make him make time. Yeah, man. We just got to we gotta do it. I'm back. So y'all got this today. Um, hopefully y'all are you know, listening to it, share it with your friends. Uh, if you want to hit me up on the socials, uh, you can do so uh, at Icarus underscore gray on Instagram, Icarus gray, pretty much on everything else. Um, gray area anime on Facebook, uh, like the page. You will get updates on all the things that are going on over there as well. You can hit my email, gray area anime, uh, at gmail.com if you're like wanting to come on as a guest uh, if you just want to have communications or anything of that nature you can use that um, to get in contact with me or any other socials just hit me up uh, yeah, yeah Gray Matter is out now I uh, appreciate you Devin for taking some time out to come on the podcast and be the inaugural podcast that's coming back um, Teach Me Senpai um, is also coming back. We'll have two episodes uh, that we recorded while I was back home of uh, Ranking of Kings. We're watching through it with um, Bible Study Girl. Uh, and so we were able to watch episode one and two before I came back here last year. So we're going to get those episodes to y'all uh, oh, as yeah. well as um, staying up to date with everything that's going on. You'll be getting a video of Demon Slayer 3 um, once I watch through it, I'm, I'm apart from all the other things that I'm watching, and I am going to try and get Devin to commit to a uh, manga reviews. So we're gonna try yeah. and like yeah. get you guys every week with like what we're reading, why we're reading it. Uh, oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, as a small preview before I get out of here, because this is like an hour, but I wanted to give y'all a lot because we're back. <laughs> um, small preview on that. Uh, we are huge Kaiju number eight fans. Yeah. Um. Uh, Noise Exorcist is actually pretty good. It's pretty dope. For, for the first couple of uh, Shonen Jump things. And we'll just talk about also the conundrum that we have currently with Shonen Jump and where we think they're going. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Chainsaw Man, y'all should be reading. Chainsaw Man Part 2 was being really, really dope. One Piece is One yeah. Piece. If you're not reading it, I don't know what's wrong with you. Yeah. Black Clover has been ramping up. Uh, My Hair Academia, y'all know what it is. Uh, yeah. And then for me, my biggest one that I have to read every week that has just now hit one of their greatest points because it's been out for two years because we're at 104 chapters uh, is Blue Box. I love it. It's oh, just good. Can I, Blue Box, that's um, badminton. Yeah, badminton and basketball. I'm on chapter 13, maybe? Oh, yeah. 14. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. up. It's I'm, up. I'm, it's I'm, up. I'm taking it really slow because I'm enjoying this one. So I'm taking it real okay. slow. This uh, is a good one. Get to at least fifty or something for me, and so because okay. I kind of want to get your thoughts on some things, uh, or we'll just talk about it once you catch up. But either way, I'm cool. telling you, it's cool, worth cool. the ride, and we're at like that moment. So thank oh, y'all for sure. joining us. Uh, until next time, a one and a two and a peace. I guess I should probably do that right. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>
No, I just know it by heart. <laughs> I know it when it's coming on. Because I was here in my mind, I was hearing.